Um, I'm having a pottering day, just doing bits and pieces. Very, very lovely friend sent me this. Look, it's all sort of shiny and glossy. I feel cheated. That's really miffed me. Like that, so I wasn't gonna eat till lunch. Now I'm having cake for breakfast. I have been so excited for this. Good morning and welcome back to a new vlog. I wasn't gonna film today. Um, I'm having a pottering day, just doing bits and pieces. It's actually my birthday, so although we're home, I kind of give myself a bit of a day off, really. Um, I was just making a sourdough and I thought, I know that you guys quite enjoy it when I'm having a bit of a day doing bits and pieces, so I thought I would hang out with you all, seeing as it's my birthday. So I'm just prepping a sourdough and I was just cleaning the kitchen. I just like wiped out the oven and all that kind of thing. Um, our daughter's on her way home from Manchester, so I'm really excited about that. I've just been chatting with her while she sat on the train. And then this evening we are going out for pizza um in winchester with our son as well so it's going to be a really really nice day i just fancied a really chilled one today and then at the weekend i'm going out with my sister so i'm looking forward to that i'm going to leave this to rest and hopefully we'll have some nice sourdough tomorrow morning i was quietly protective of my heart to reassure that I couldn't break to pieces and be left alone once more if you hadn't been so patient, you'd be easy to ignore. You put up with all my bullshit till you didn't anymore. And now I stand here calling at your door. Oh, now I stand here calling at your door. Yeah, I'm yours anywhere you want. Yeah, I'm yours. And now we're singing. I was just sat waiting for the floors to dry and um, I was going to head upstairs. I cleaned the downstairs loo and I was going to go upstairs and start hoovering and cleaning the bathrooms. And then I remembered I wanted to bake myself a birthday cake. And I had my first birthday present yesterday. A very, very lovely friend sent me this. It was a real surprise. It came in the post yesterday. It is so nice. Um, Fit Waffle, I follow her, I found her first on Pinterest I think, and then I started following her on Instagram, and then I've got this book, it's such a lovely book, I love this type of recipe book, where it's got really, really lovely photos, very kind of like lived in, rustic, um, I don't do fancy, as you know, um, but just real, real life, that's what I like. I'm really excited. Oh, Cherry Bakewell Flapjacks. I took it to bed last night and was looking at it. So thank you, lovely friend. This is the perfect gift for me. It really is. I feel inspired by this one. It's, I haven't heard of poke cakes before, basically. And I've done it before because you put the skewer in to drizzle syrup. Well, like, you know, when you do a lemon drizzle. But this one is a step beyond poking with a skewer. This is actually with the end of, like, your wooden spoon type thing so that you really get the syrup in. So I'm going to give this a go. I'm going to adapt it slightly because I've got Holly coming. She does now eat eggs, but she doesn't eat milk, yogurts, or anything dairy-related cheese like that. But she is now eating free-range eggs new to my channel she was vegan before but she has um recently more recently introduced eggs to her diet so um free range like i said um so yeah and that's all we would use anyway though i think most people do don't they um yeah so i'm gonna make this it looks really really lovely and i've got blueberries that need using up so i'm gonna swap out the blueberries for the blackberries and it's a process where the cake needs to dry before I add the syrup so that will be perfect so I can get this dry I'm um, not drying cooling um, I'm really really looking forward to this I am changing this recipe slightly um, I'm taking out the margarine and I'm using half a cup of oil instead um, and I'm not doing it all in stages I'm not like beating the butter and sugar together. I'm just literally throwing it all in together. I'm just doing it all in one bowl. So I'm gonna pop that in the oven for about 30 to 40 minutes. And while the cake's in the oven, I'm gonna make this, whoops, syrup. Here's some these blueberries. So I've got my blueberries. I've 
I've got the juice of my lemon, a tablespoon of caster sugar, a tablespoon of corn flour, and a couple of teaspoons of warm water. I'm just going to let that cook down. I got this completely wrong. I never read things properly. Um, I was supposed to add the corn flour afterwards, and I didn't. I've just thrown it all in. I've ended up adding extra water. I think also because the recipe is blackberries, blackberries are a bit more watery. When they cook down, you've got more of juice, which you don't have with blueberries. So I've ended up adding about a third of a cup of water in the end. I'm just letting it cook down. I might even add a bit more water actually because by the sounds of it, you kind of want to drizzle it over the cake a little bit. And at the moment, this is more like a very thick blueberry pie filling. Definitely not drizzly, more of a flop. But it does look like pie filling. It really looks like pie filling actually. You know when you buy the tins of pie filling? Look, it's all sort of shiny and glossy. I like that. Fancy making blueberry pie now. I've always wondered how they get that kind of gloopiness, you know, like when you have cherry pie. And I've just tasted it as well. They're everything, the texture, the flavor, it is just like a proper pie filling. It's really nice and it's got a real nice sweet but tartness to it. I'm really pleased with that. I would make just the filling to use to make a blueberry pie make little pockets with pastry and seal them that'd be really cute as well i've taken this off this needs to properly cool down before it can be added to the cake but the cake has to cool down as well before i can add this over the top so confused we're talking steps at the moment i just don't seem to get to build up the steps it's now what's the time well, 10 let, to let 12. i've been cleaning i've been baking i am on 298 That's steps today yeah. 309 now is because you made me walk into the lounge to test it. So Aids made me walk into the lounge, back out again, round to the larder back. It added on two steps. Ten, you said. Ten, I meant, sorry. So we're gonna test it now because Aids on nearly a thousand and he's been sat at his desk. Well, I've been all day. walking around as well, I've been out to the car. Yeah, but it's I've been cleaning. Steps. Yeah, but no, but I've been cleaning and I've done 288 steps. Okay. So we're gonna do a test. We're right, gonna do the same thing. You walk. need to do it. We can't do it together. You're gonna have to do it first and then I'll do it. Okay. Yeah. Well, why can't we do it together? Because there's not room. Yeah, but if I walk it's through... It's exactly the same. Right. So I'm on... Can you just swipe me, please? 309. Oh, how can you see that? Down the bottom. Oh, I can't see that. 309. Right. So we're going to walk together and to see... So you just go into the sofa there, aren't you? Yeah, to the sofa. To the pantry. And back. Around to the pantry. We're going to test to see... Do this twice. If we have... Twice. If we have the same amount of steps. I'm really bad. Sometimes I might get to the end of the day. And I've worked like a 15, 16 hour day and I've got to about 600 steps so all day. One. So okay. do that again. So do this again. I'm confused. How many steps do you all do in a day? So are you going to do it in a moment? Yeah. Okay. Are you liking this experiment? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I haven't walked to the larder door. I've just walked to the fruit bowl. There you go. Okay. Done. Right. Well, I'll let, let's see what your can stop you stop here. Yeah, I'll stop here. Can you swipe me, please? Oh, can you have a look? 339. 339. Well, let me take a picture of that so we know what that okay. is. Okay. Otherwise, I'll forget. Right, so mine's 972, yeah? Yeah, you're on 972. Well, you just come oh, I'll move out of the way then. Yeah. Go on then. That's Phil May doing his steps. I think I'm being cheated. <laughs> <laughs> I think you managed to do more steps. Uh, haven't we had this on walks before? But you'd think because I take s that's smaller one. steps that I would have less. So you'd do, well, you'd do more. Yeah, that's what I mean. You'd think I'd do more. We need to check the settings on your on your watch. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm intrigued to see what yours will be. Did you walk to the fruit bowl? Yes, just the fruit bowl, not further. You didn't do didn't some extra steps, steps, no? Right, let's have a look at yours. Uh, 10.37. So how much did you do? So I've done, or 10.48 actually. 
So mine was 972, so 48, 68, 20. I've done about 75. Okay. And you've done 30. And we did the same thing? Yeah. So how does that work? Well, yours should be more because you're little. Yeah, I'm taking smaller steps. So, But that's weird, isn't it? Yeah, we need to check the settings because you it's all done, supposedly, I think, on things like your height and other stuff. But do you know, but that kind of makes sense because when we go out for a walk, Yours is always half the I minus. lose half the calories of what you do. Hmm. It's that you're putting the same amount of effort in, but then I am obviously bigger, so am I burning more because I'm having to work but surely harder. we're still doing the same amount of Step, steps. Steps is different because steps is a step. Yeah. So. Unless, because... No, but even if I was taking larger strides, I'd still be doing the same amount as you. So mine was half than what yours yep. was. Which makes sense. If I've been cleaning and that this morning and I've only done 288 mm. steps, I feel cheated. That's really miffed me. Oh, who's calling? A couple of hours later, my cake is nice and cool. And I'm going to take my wooden spoon and make a whole load of holes so that the syrup can drizzle in and it will make the sponge really fruity and syrupy. This has gone really thick so I've just added a little bit of water. Look how delicious that looks. And I'm going to smother this over the top. such a lovely time we went out for dinner in the evening we drove over to Lily's uni and had pizza out we had probably one of the best pizzas I've ever had it was actually even better than the pizza we had locally recently it was really really good um it was just so lovely us all being together and then I had a really nice time with Holly yesterday uh, we went out for coffee in the morning it was just so nice just catching up anyway we've ended up booking a hotel and we're gonna go and stay with them um, over Easter we're gonna take Louis to visit them as well because he hasn't been to Manchester yet so I'm really looking forward to that um, I had some flowers arrived from my lovely friend Emily so I'm about to unwrap those however I don't actually have any vases because I got rid of them all before we moved so I'm just trying to figure out what to put them in I'm wondering about this I think that might work let's see Working out nicer than a vase. Some flowers. And I 
need to top up the ginger biscuits. These are what are known as headache biscuits in our house. Aid can't swallow tablets, and as you know, he gets a lot of headaches. So whenever he takes anything, he crunches it. This makes me feel so sick, just the thought. So bitter. Um, so whenever he takes a headache tablet, he has a couple of ginger biscuits afterwards to try and take the taste away. This is so, so gross. I had the conversation with our daughter yesterday. She can't swallow tablets either. And she was wanting some really good vitamins. And obviously the decent ones are all swallowable ones. Uh, so yeah, we had that conversation. She's been trying like a spray, but um, yeah, I just feel sorry for people that can't swallow them. It's a bit yucky, but um, I do like a jar of cookies on the side. So something I've been doing with my vits lately, I leave them on the side because I sometimes forget. So I've been keeping them up in the tea and coffee cupboard and then I leave them on the side because I haven't eaten yet. And then I know that when I have my lunch later, um, can take my vitamins at the same time otherwise i just end up forgetting to talk to you about my birthday cake that cake is really really good i made the cream cheese frosting i didn't put it on the cake because obviously holly can't eat it so i kept that separate i've just had it on the work surface here covered up um, I'm going to pop it into the fridge now though. We've um, done quite well with it. It is so good. Like I said, the topping is like a pie filling. It's so, so delicious. And what we've been doing is just taking some of the cream cheese and spreading it on top and eating it like that. So I wasn't going to eat till lunch. Now I'm having cake for breakfast. I've actually ended up with a lot of extra cream cheese so and it's lemony it's so good i'm gonna pop this on top i think what i might do i've got my sister coming over at the weekend we're gonna celebrate our birthdays together because we didn't do anything properly for hers last month i'm gonna pop this on here and then i might actually bake something else maybe a lemon cake and use the frosting this on. I liked in the book how it's really kind of mixed. This is such a good cake. It really is like the mix of the sweetness and the tartness and the cream cheese frosting goes so so well. This book was a very very good gift. Ooh, yummy. We were going to have cake in bed last night and we didn't. We went to bed quite early. I was so tired. I think it's just been such a full on few days. And when we drove home from Louis, one of the roads was closed and it ended up taking doubly as long. It took nearly two hours to get home. It's not good when it's really late and you're full of pizza. Mmm, that frosting is so nice. Yeah, look, there's loads left. So I'm going to make the cake at the weekend and combine and use it with that. Do you know, I've made that this go really well. The pumpkin cake I used to make had a cream cheese frosting that would go so nicely. This looks so good, this cake. What's your favorite type of cake? Mm. I'm definitely more of a fruity cake person. And when we go out, I'm more inclined to have a pastry than a slice of cake. I had a rhubarb slice recently in a bakery and it was so lovely and tart. I love anything like that. Right, this really needs to go in the fridge. However, I'm not quite sure how to do that. Or should I just try and put it under the cloche? I might try and do that. Let's pop it on a plate. There. Oh, I've got some exciting deliveries coming today. So I'll be sharing those with you. I'm hoping, I ordered myself a birthday gift. Um, actually, I'm going to cut this in squares. So that may well come today. Um, I had some birthday money. Let's pop this 
onto this plate. This is going to be really messy. Um, Aid's in the office today. He's gone in. He needs to take somebody out for lunch. So it's just me for dinner tonight, although he should be back by three. Um, but obviously he's eating, so I've defrosted myself some of the Korean beef that we had the other day. This actually looks really nice like that. Ah. And I can pick up all the bits on the paper. I'll be able to take my vitamins now because I've had lunch. Cake at 20 past nine. <laughs> it's still officially my birthday week, so it's allowed, right? And it is blueberries, so it's healthy. They do look really nice, don't they? I'm really chuffed with those. So, you know when I made the Korean beef the other day? There was just a small bit left, so I froze it. And um, we were gonna, uh, one of us was going to have it for lunch, and we never got around to it. So I froze it rather than wasting it. But these like little one portions are so handy when only one of us is having dinner. So it's just so much better. One, you're not wasting it, and two, it means I don't have to cook just for me tonight. I can just heat that up, and then that can go under the cloche. There, the flowers look really pretty there. I am so, so excited. I just checked up on the delivery status of my birthday gift. It's out for delivery. Yay. And in other news, I didn't vlog this because I didn't want to be disrespectful. I couldn't find my birthday money. Aid's mum and dad put money in an envelope. They don't do internet banking. I opened my cards and then today I was thinking, where did I put that? Because I was going to, we were going to go and end up putting it in the bank and I'd put it into the Florida fund. I always do that then. That way I can spend it when we're on holiday and I couldn't remember where I put the money and I went through the bin today in case I accidentally binned it. It wasn't there. And then I've just messaged aid and he's put, he'd put it where I asked him to put it in with our passports and our foreign currency. I didn't even remember asking him to do that, but I must have done. And it's just safely tucked away where it belongs. So um, I didn't need to go through the bin after all. It's just come. I was literally just one minute later, I was buttering up some bread and it's here. I can't wait. I'm going to open it. Here we go. Hi, oh, I've been so excited for this. Just taking it out of the box. I love the box so much. The Disney boxes are the best. Isn't that cute? I've just filmed the unboxing and popped it on Instagram or I'm about to pop it on Instagram. It's so cute. Look at the characters. It's my perfect colour. I love it. I love the little zip. It is just so sweet. We've got Mickey on Astro Orbiter, which is my worst ride ever. We have got um, Haunted Mansion. We've got Pirates. We've got Teacups. What else have we got on here? It's just really, really cute. Chip and Dale, it's got Pluto, obviously Minnie and Mickey. It's just, I love it. I love it so, so much. So that is my birthday gift using my mum's birthday money. Um, so yeah, I was gonna, I did think I would spend my money in Florida if I saw something I really liked. And then I thought, I really like this. And I'd be really disappointed if then I didn't get it, I think, because it is, as you know, I've got the color on today. I just love this color. It's my absolute favorite color. So, um, and I'm gonna use this as an everyday bag, not just for Florida. I'm gonna use it all the time, but um, 70 pounds, none of the discounts worked. I had 15% off sent to me by Disney for my birthday, that didn't work. And there's currently a few different offers for spring or Easter going off. And the 60, there was 20% off if you spent over 60 pounds. This was 70 and that didn't work in any either. The lounge flies aren't included in any of the offers. And sometimes the DVC, you can put in your DVC membership and we've been given a discount with that. That didn't work either. Even, by the way, in the Disney store when we've been on Oxford Street in London, we've shown our, I remember Louis once buying a really big Lego kit. I think he may well have bought the castle there actually. Yeah, he did, one Christmas. Um, and they gave us 
um, the 20% off there as well. So it's always worth asking, but yes, I am very, very happy with this. So thank you, mum. Not that you watch my videos, but I am chuffed with this. Good morning. Um, I need to finish this vlog and I was just about to make dinner. So I thought I'd make dinner with you and stick it in the vlog. Um, and you know, I've had so many messages lately about people saying how they feel really inspired by my cooking and me sharing the meals we're having and all that kind of thing. So thank you very much. Really appreciate that, but I know what it's like because I've got friends that I share daily. We talk about cooking, we share our recipes, we just kind of bounce off each other and I find that really inspiring as well. Just sometimes just something just different, isn't it? So um, if you have any meals you want to share, any recipes, please feel free to add them in the comments. I'm doing a chicken dinner. I'm doing, it's a very easy one today. We all like an easy meal, don't we? And it's a one pot and it's chicken and mushroom casserole. Really easy with chicken soup. I don't even know if I've got chicken soup actually. Let me just check. I thought I probably did have. It's one of those staples, isn't it? Um, so I think it's just gonna go, I don't know where is it going in the crock pot. I just found the recipe when I was doing my um, meal planning and I thought it sounded really nice. I'm actually gonna change the recipe quite a bit. So I am doing mushrooms, onions, I'm adding carrots. These one in the original recipe, I'm adding garlic. Um, soup and mushrooms are in the recipe and chicken. And I'm gonna add sweet corn as well. I'm gonna turn it into like a proper casserole, I think. Um, and I'm gonna brown it off first, which again, isn't in the recipe. But I'm gonna do that, brown off the onions mushrooms and the chicken I think add the soup I might add some stock as well and just let it cook down and then the reason I'm doing it in the casserole pot there is one because it's new and it's really pretty and I wanted to use it again and two because I can then put it in the oven and um, I can brown off the cheese whereas in the slow cooker I can't do that and I want a kind of like cheesy top to it because it's got parmesan in the original recipe. I will link up the original recipe anyway for you to see. And then you can take inspiration from that as well. We're gonna have loads of garlic in this. And I think later on, I'm not gonna serve it um, with any carbs or anything. I think I'm just gonna do it with Brussels. I think I might just do it with that, just some veggies. Last minute decision, I've decided to double the recipe. If I've got the pan on for one thing, I may as well make two meals and then I'll freeze one. I've just added in four chicken thighs to the onions, the garlic and mushrooms. And let's season. I put garlic, um, not garlic, onion powder, onion salt, sorry, in as well. Add some fresh thyme to that. And some carrots. And let's add some frozen sweet corn as well. So it's ended up being absolutely nothing like the recipe. And two tins of chicken soup. I'm not going to add any stock. Feels quite liquidy enough. There we go. Now I'm going to pop that in the oven. And I'm going to leave that in, I think, for I don't know, half an hour, 40 minutes. Done that for 40 minutes. It tastes really good. I just gave it a little try. Obviously, you check your chicken. The larger the chicken, the longer it's going to take to cook. Nobody wants to eat raw chicken. I am so excited to try that. I'm just gonna put some cheese on top and just kind of, I might even, no, I probably won't even need to go under the grill, it can just stay in the oven. I think that's gonna be really good. You could do it with rice, do it with potatoes, anything like that. We're just having it with veggies today. I'm um, just to be a little bit lighter. But I um, really hope you've enjoyed hanging out with me. Thank you so much. It's been a crazy few days. But really appreciate you hanging out. Thank you very much. And I look forward to seeing you in the next vlog on Sunday. And I'm hanging out with my sister. She's coming over. And we're going to do some fun birthday things together. Thank you very much. Have a lovely weekend. And I'll see you soon. Bye.
there, pop some parmesan on top. We haven't done Brussels in the end, I've just got some green bits. That looks really good. Mm -hmm.